The Revival defeated the Hype Bros last night with the Shatter Machine for the win. Oh, it's, they're, they're so impressive. I want to hate them so much. But they, you know, they go hard all day, all night. So. Say yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great theme. Uh, uh, the Hype Bros came out, you know, with a, as much hyped up energy as they normally do. But I, 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 I just knew right from the start that the Revival was going to have their number. And so what did you all think about the Revival in the ring last night? I liked it. I liked it a lot. Just because we talked about it last week. I loved how the Revival beat their opponents last week in NXT. They said... We are out to get back our NXT Tag Team Championships. We will stop at nothing until we have those titles back in our grasp. Literally the next match, they attack the Hype Bros. And literally the next week, they have their match against the Hype Bros, and they beat them. There's no waiting a couple weeks. This is this not a month from now. They're like following up on an angle they did two months earlier, which they can do from time to time because, like you said, they, they schedule and they tape things so out of order sometimes. But I liked it. A lot of great consistency. The match was kept short, sweet, and dominant you know, win for the Revival en route to capturing their uh, NXT Tag Team titles and regaining the gold, which hopefully we get the rematch at TakeOver next month, which could be a lot of fun. We saw it at TakeOver, we saw the match at NXT Lowell, and they had two very, very good matches, and American Alpha better be ready. They better be ready, willing, and gable. <laughs> <laughs> well put. <laughs> Extremely well put. RJ, how did you feel the Hype Bros did offensively and, and, and even defensively against what the Revival was doing, because the Revival can be pretty underhanded in everything they do. I think the Hype Bros looked somewhat decent, but like you said, they just don't have what it takes to beat the Revival. I think the Revival is easily the second best team in NXT. They have the, they have the grit. They have like that tough mentality. They don't care who it is. They're going to isolate that body part and just like keep hammering it in. And I don't know if Mojo and Zack Ryder are there yet as a team. Like you said, they've been teaming for a while now. I thought they were going to go to the main roster, but they kind of kept them down. But the Revival is the new, a new thing that like you said, I want to hate them, but they're just so I know. damn it. They're like, they're so technical. They're and like, so good. You just want to cheer for them because, like, they're just so – I don't even know how to say it. They're just so good. <laughs> they're so good. They're so good. I, I had some thoughts about the hype bros, about, like, what's missing from their report. You know, they have they, – they come in with so much energy. They're hyped. They're, they're hyped. They, they don't get hyped. They stay they, hyped. They stay hyped. But they need to be more, more hyped. hyped. They need to be they more hyped if they're going to beat someone like the Revival and then even think that they have a shot. To match American Alpha, so here, here's what I was thinking for the hype bros. They need to do some old school Super Mario Brothers tactics. They need to find some kind of magic potion that they can drink during their match that gives them a total power up <laughs> and that makes them run around twice as fast. And then they will squash everybody in sight. But if they lose their momentum or if they get knocked down, they shrink down to about you know four feet tall. So who's Princess Peach in this situation? Mojo. I, I, definitely Mojo. Oh, okay. Oh, I was going to say Mario Luigi and then bring in a diva as Peach. Yeah, like, that's true. Carmela's free. <laughs> Tessa Blanchard. Do not put her with that. <laughs>